It's your boy DJ Academics and check this out, man, because rapper Kundo number no. nine, you might know him as Rondo number no. nine. His real name is Clint Massey. Now, this guy's a legendary motherfucking savage. To keep it real, he's won so many awards being a savage in the war in Chirac. Now, this is the only savage, and I mean the only savage that's been noted to post up a different fucking gun for a different fucking day in the war in Chirac. He even culminated to the point where this motherfucker just posted up a motherfucking rocket launcher in the war in Chirac. By the way, he's the only savage to at least post and display his own personal weapon of mass destruction. Now, of course, that didn't last too long because, of course, his coonery and, of course, his behavior of self-snitching led to him being arrested on March 9th, 2014 in connection with the murder of a taxi driver. Now, this guy's pretty much, he's with the shits. Now... Finally, we get an update on him because he's been incarcerated for almost a year and he was a juvenile when he was incarcerated. He was 17, but of course his birthday just passed and that's actually his birthday was on, on February 18th. And finally, he get to go amongst the other savages at the Summer Jam. We all know what that is, Cook County Jail. He was being held at a juvenile facility. He's now officially transferred to Cook County Jail. Now... Check this out because his bail is two million and of course we all know about we should be all familiar with the free the guys campaign. Now Lil Dirk has vowed if it's the last thing he does, he will get Rondo number nine out of jail because he gotta get them guys home. Now, of course, that's been definitely unsuccessful. Now, there's not even been bail packages made. However, the savage line to refer to is that he'll be home soon. Now, he'll be home next Christmas. That's the next hope. But I'm um, check this out, man. Now, his next court date, if you're wondering, right? Because he's going through a murder case. And he'll actually, is, it kind of started already, but his next court date is March 13. Now, as I told you before, remember all that type of about uh, he beat the case? No, motherfucker. Nobody beat the case. But finally, this is the important thing because we actually, and I've received the official docket on Kundo number nine that I could tell you how much really with the shits this guy was. Now, I was actually surprised to find out that he's only 5'7", a buck 55, which I'm like, what the fuck? How could you be told that motherfucking rocket launcher doing 40 yard dashes in 4.2 seconds when you're a buck 55 and a goddamn rocket launcher might be a buck 65? But listen, man, I'm going to tell you this, man. The only way I'll put some money on this guy's books to get him out is if he's going to bring that savage fight to ISIS. This motherfucker's toting a rocket launcher. We need to get him overseas in Syria. Now... Listen, man, the, the Savage stat sheet for this guy, this motherfucker is actually well decorated. Now, if you've been wondering, right, how long he's been really with it, check out these stats on motherfucking Kundo number nine. Now, it says here, and I'm not making this up, I couldn't, believe me, I couldn't. It says that he's been with the shits since birth, dead ass, serious. This is what it says on the stat sheet. He's been with the shits since birth, he's been hitting licks since he's been in the crib oh my god this guy's a, this guy's a motherfucking savage now not only that he's been chasing the motherfucking ops and running from the motherfucking cops ever since he got handed a goddamn rocket launcher from his motherfucking pops now this guy right here as i said kundo number nine this guy is a goddamn domestic terrorist now check this out because not only that as far as year-end awards He's actually three-time Coon of the Year. He's a most valuable Coon uh, current reigning champion. He's also first ballot Hall of Coon. And um, he's a seven-time, goddamn, this thing is kind of nice, seven-time All-Star Coon. And, of course, he's a All-Star Savage for life. Now, I believe, and somebody could correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he, he he's the uh, sixth hunter. And I'm going to say, man, listen, this guy really fulfilled his savage life. We might actually got to raise this motherfucking number nine jersey into the rafters. I'm really hoping it was really worth it, though, because um, the good thing about him being 18 is that, listen, we could get more updates about him and his real where whereabouts and how he's going through the legal system, which if he's innocent, we hope he gets out of it if he's innocent. However, I do want one thing. I do want one thing. Seriously, one thing, because even if he's innocent or guilty, because despite common misconception, I have nothing against this kid. Believe me, I have nothing against him. How It's really quite the opposite. I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen, and when I see a coon on the internet toting a goddamn rocket launcher, I need to find out that that Negro could get apprehended, he could get cavity searched, and he could get waterboarded until we find where the fuck that motherfucking rocket launcher came from. Because we got motherfucking ISIS. They're overseas doing demonic shit, and if we got a local coon, 
running around like a crazed Negro on steroids, following out and carrying out kill scripts, right? We need to figure out where the fuck he got it from. Because if we got niggas overseas with rocket launchers, we got people here with rocket launchers, shit, I might as well go back to Jamaica and deal with niggas with machetes. What the fuck is going on? So until we find out that, hopefully, if he's innocent, he gets off. If he's not innocent, hey, the legal system takes care of itself. So what do you guys think, man? Um, apparently, he's still going through the, the battle of trying to prove himself guilty or not guilty. Apparently, his case does look up for him. Apparently, some evidence have been kind of fell apart, but not completely. And you never know. When, when it gets to the lawyers and it gets to the judge, and they might just say, man, fuck it. Let's just fudge it and just keep it going. So you guys get in the comment box. What do you guys think about Kundo number nine? He's actually going to court next month. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Woody Academics. I'm out.